no way to include uh, music. All right, well, that was a good try. Um, so welcome back to another episode of our Calgary Flames GM mode series. I know it's late on a Monday night, so probably won't get too many live viewers, but that's okay. Just finished some studying, so I figured I had some time to jump into a stream. So I think we set up the lines in the last episode. I have to do the power play lines, but that won't take me long. Uh, so Kachuk, Malkin, Kokinemi. That seems fine by me. Let's see if I can go like this. With Tori Krug. Um, is there any way to get a plus five? I don't think there was. Sadly, I don't think there was a way to get a plus five. Yeah. Oh well, that's too bad. Uh, we're gonna go like this. Um, who's got a good shot? Ooh, Mantha. Can you skate too or no? Mmm, I like that. How about Kachuk's shot? Ooh, he's got a more accurate shot than Mantha. Then we're going with Malkin, Monahan, Dubé. Need a Ryder Hannafin? That seems fine to me. Four man penalty kill. Oh, sorry, four man power play. Uh, I think Kachuk's the better option up there. And then Malkin. Uh, Need a rider, Hannafin. Who are we missing? Mantha. Let's throw Mantha in there. Is there any way to get a plus? I mean, that's one way, but. Or Kokniemi. But Need a rider instead. Oh, there we go. We like that. Alright, we like that. Oh, okay. Last one to check. Um, Alright, penalty kill. Plus five. That's beautiful. Plus one, that's fine. Plus one. And uh, zero. Oof. Let's change it up. Uh, Anderson's not in. Let's throw the Anderson guy in there. There we go. And then we'll throw the Anderson guy in this one. Plus three. Hell yeah. Wait, no? Why? Oh, because Ruzika. This game's mean. This game's mean. I'm going to do plus three, plus three. Uh, all right, that's fine. Uh, goalies, Skinner, Sorokin. We're good to go. AHL lines. Uh, I think we did them. I think we did them the best we could. They look good to me. Anybody scratch is super important. Anybody important? High bottom six is interesting. Francis. First liner. I mean, they're fine. They're fine down there. Christian Jews is an offensive guy. Lejoie. Let's get Forstrom going with Kolosov. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We found it. <laughs> we found it. We found the lines. All right, that's fine. Uh, goalies, that's good. All right, we'll leave them. We'll leave them to it. We'll leave them to it. Let's get started with the sim and uh, hope for a good sim. Let's just hope for a good one. Uh, let's go to February, go to the trade deadline, see what we got, see what we got going for us. Uh, I'll turn off the block, make it easier for ourselves. There we go. I'm prepared to have the glitch happen, yep, every time. Every time I try to edit the block. There we go. And our wants. There we go, perfect. Let's get the sim going. Let's get the sim going. There you go, big wins, big wins. I know it's a preseason, but you want to start strong. You always want to start strong. Uh, nope, scouting assignment's good. Tough loss, but it's okay, we'll bounce back. There we go. Oh, 3 2. Great audio. Thanks, Liv. <laughs> Thanks, Liv. Appreciate it. I'm using my new microphone. Uh, I'll use you as a guinea pig here. One sec, one sec. Stay on, stay on. Don't, don't leave just yet. I need, I need to use you as a guinea pig. One sec. Okay, I muted my mic because I had to fix something for you, but does this sound better or does it sound worse? Or the same? <laughs> Let me know how this sounds. I tried adjusting my mic, so like I put like a cover on it. Maybe it'll make it even better. Who knows? Let me know how it sounds. Oh, man. Great record. 30. Oh, tough losses, but it's okay. We're bouncing back. 32. Oh, we're losing a lot. We're losing a lot right now. We're losing a lot. Oh, man. 
All right, I guess I'm not going to get an answer from Liv. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe my mic's not back on? No, I think it's on. Oh, sounds about the same. There you go, got the answer. Well, that's good, though. At least it sounds about the same. Uh, enter trade deadline. All right, let's see what we can get. Let's see. Oh, where Carlson? Uh, I got to make him worse in this game. He's having the worst season of his career. I got to make him worse because he, he still plays too well. Oh, man, they didn't sign this kid. That's a mistake. Ten and a half million dollars for Kasperi Kaplan. Imagine the Leafs giving him that much money. Carter Hart. Okay, maybe I'll go for Carter Hart. Let's see how he plays in the playoffs. How do you do in the playoffs, my friend? Only one year in the playoffs. He was a 9.25. He's an average goalie in the sim, but he's on a bad team. How are our goalies doing? I meant to check. I forgot. How are our goalies doing? Skinner, 8.98, 8.97. All right, we'll get rid of a. Uh, we'll get rid of our boy Soro. Ooh, he's a cheap backup. What about? Ooh, we'll get rid of Skinner. No, he's a good backup. So we'll get rid of Sorokin. I'm struggling. <laughs> we'll get rid of Sorokin if we can get Carter Hart, man. That would solidify our team as a cup contender. Guarantee it. Uh, skaters match and block. What do they want? Oh, no. Nope. Decline that. Don't worry. We'll get, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. Not every day does a goalie like Carter Hart get on the block, right? Not every day. Where is he? There we go. There we go. Goalies. Carter Hart. Got it. As they say in Philly. I think that's a pretty bad accent, but whatever. I, I tried. Uh, we'll throw in him. We'll throw in him. I mean, we're getting a seasoned goalie. They're getting a goalie prospect. That seems pretty fair to me. Too far off, but I think it's close. Um, draft picks, they want a fourth. I'll give them their fourth round pick back. Just a bit low. That's not bad. It means it's close. Throwing a fifth. There we go. There you go. Got Carter Hart as our goalie. That's good. Our goalie situation's perfect now. Uh, so I'm going to go by available. Um, Kubalik. Kubalik could be a... Oh, my God. A, yeah, for that price... Jacob Slavin. I'll, I'll look at Jacob Slavin. Let me see what he's worth. Because if we can get an upgrade on defense. Oh, baby. All right. Jacob Slavin. <laughs> Jacob Slavin. What can I do for you? Uh, Tori Krug, Noah Hannafin, they're staying. Valimaki's staying. Rasmus Anderson, could you play the bottom pair? He could. He could. Josh Anderson's all right. Poirier. Well, I'm really, I'm willing to get rid of Jeremy Hua. He doesn't fit the bottom pair. Um, And then... What do they want in terms of prospects? Zimmerman? I mean, oh my god, those puck skills, man. This kid's a stud. <laughs> this kid's so good. Um, thanks, Robot Bubble 788 Happy to have you here. I'm very new to this, so be sure to let me know how I can improve. I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, but I appreciate having you on the stream. How's it going? Ooh, Philip Barry. Oh, he left. Oh, well. Um... Maybe I'm just intimidating. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> third round pick. Oh my god, I'm nowhere near it. All right, it looks like we're gonna have to give up a big. You gotta give up something good to get something good. So, I'll throw in Zimmerman. We'd be over the cap, so they're gonna have to retain for us. They're gonna have to retain for us. That's fine. That's fine. They can retain. They can retain some money. Easily, easily. Two point six five. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna go through. So I'm gonna try to get a pick back so I can make more trades. Fourth and fifth. Nope. Just Slavin. Too far off. Wow, really? Fourth? I feel like it should go through. I'm getting them a, I'm getting them a really good prospect. Um, wow, they're stingy. They're quite mean, actually. They're borderline mean. Third round pick doesn't even go through. I think they're retaining too much money. Oh, that's why. Let me try this. Still not enough. That's fine. Third and fourth. Not enough. I'll throw in a second and a third. Really? Wow, they're quite mean, man. <laughs> I have no idea. Seems good. Nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. I don't know what I did. Threw in a fourth round pick and it went through. All right. We got a better defenseman now. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Should I? Forward line three? I mean, should I? I think I should. Let's go by forwards. Let's see what we got. Um, with Malkin, imagine. Uh, we got Jared McCann. We got everyone locked up, though. That's the thing. Um, how's Ratcliffe doing? 
He's just kind of there. I can throw in Ratcliffe. Or maybe Ruzika. He's got so much value. How does he fit? He fits really well in that third line. But so does Ratcliffe. I'll throw in Ruzika. Because he has so much value. It almost goes through. If they can just retain a bunch of salary for me, I think we can get Ovi. I think we can get Ovi. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I have to. Still too much. Come on. Come on, please. Bless me with this. Still too much. No way. It's not possible. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I can work my way around this. Stuart Skinner. Even then? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I really wanted Ovi. Um... Anyone I can get rid of with a bad contract? We don't really have bad contracts, so that's the problem. We don't have any bad contracts to get rid of. Um, Jacob Slavin us. It's only on a three million dollar deal. Nito Niederreiter. You know what? If I'm if I do an upgrade on Niederreiter, that's still worth it. They still have to retain salary, but that's okay. I'm willing to give up Niederreiter actually. That's fine by me. This should be able to go through. I should be able to make this work. If I can't, then I don't know what the wrong, what's wrong with this game. Three mil. Not even... What the heck? Yo, how much money do they think I have? Okay, no. I think this, game, this game's broken. I'm not even adding any extra salary at this point. Let me throw in uh, Stuart Skinner. No, this game's, this game's broken. That's three million dollars. So that's 4.6 mil. I'm taking on... Less than 4.6 mil. Yet they say I'm... <sighs> I hate this game. I hate this game. They ruin everything. I can't even get Ovi. Come on. Okay, I have a... I think I have a weird way of working around this. NHL 21 worth the buy? Uh, if it's on sale... I'm going to be honest with you. If it's on sale for like 40, 35 bucks, then yeah. And if you like hockey and if you're going to play it, then yeah, it's always, it's definitely worth the buy. But uh, if it's still for the whatever amount, I think like 80 bucks, if it's still like that, don't do it. Don't do it. Not worth it. Uh, I like the game. I enjoy the game because I played a lot. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. If, if it's for like the 70 bucks, it's not worth it. The game came out practically broken. So that was not great. Um, but yeah. So I'd, I'd say... Uh, wait like if it, it wait till it's on sale if it's on sale then yeah get it if you're gonna play it and it's on sale i'd definitely get it burkovsky's only good on the fourth line gustav used no he's a playmaker i need a sniper but who's cheap <laughs> uh pooley uh that could work if he fits on the third line that would work really well it's not ov but four line three all right i'll throw in uh where was that guy ratcliffe They got to retain salary, though. Although, why would it work for Pooley Yarvi if it didn't work for uh, Obi? Yeah. Let me try uh, Let me try this guy. Where is he? Let me try Ruzika. This game's impossible. <laughs> this game's so impossible. Like, this is another... Like, I don't know. I, like, I like the game. I enjoy it. But there's certain things that just shows it's broken. Like, I'm, I'm taking on less salary than what I have. And it still says it won't go through. Who are the young guns to target in trades in the game? Um, honestly, it doesn't even matter about age anymore. If you just find a, like a bunch of players that fit your coach perfectly, and you get plus five on a line, that line's gonna play well no matter what. Um, like as long as they're all like at least like eighty overall, if you get a plus five on it, it's it's gonna be good. But in terms of young guns, honestly, any like any like playmaker or sniper young player who's like 80 overall like 19 is a perfect player to get um who grows though i'm trying to think uh, i can't think on the top of my head let me check for you um like i got mantha and he he grew pretty well for me kokinami kokinami always grows look he's 91 overall already uh he's a good one to get uh i know jt miller fits the team third line uh, I don't think I can add anybody. We're out of money. But here, I'll, I'll check. Like, look, Morgan Frost, he grew to an 88. 
which is kind of crazy, but like like you can grow anybody. See, like Kapanen's an eighty-eight. That's the fun part about this game. Like anyone can be good, um, as long as you grow them and play them on a line they fit on. But in terms of players you should get, like Kokinami always grows. I've seen Pulleyarvi become crazy, but not in this sim. Um, who else would I recommend? Uh, here I'll show you. Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes always grows like crazy. Um, but I'll, I'll show you the I'll show you the rookies and where they are now. Uh, ignore Milano and Comtois. I upgraded them at, like as part of an end of a series. But Jamie Drysdale never like he takes so long to grow. Um, no matter what you do, but once he grows, he he really grows. Uh, Clayton Keller is another good one. Um, I saw, yeah, they they actually actually postponed the game uh, because of that, because it was like two players from the Canadians got put on the list, so they just postponed the game, um, which sucks. I hope he doesn't have it. That would really suck. He was playing so well lately too. Uh, Darlene grows. Um, Middle stat actually grows a lot too. I didn't. And Dylan Cousins. Dylan Cousins is a good one. Um, Ponom Ponomara, this guy. He takes a while, but <laughs> he gets there, man. He gets there. Kirby Doc always grows a little bit. Alex Nylander, for whatever reason, grows a lot. He's kind of overrated. Dylan Strom. Uh, Kale McCarr, obviously. Tyson Jost grows a lot too in this game. Sam Gerrard's always okay, but never great. But yeah, any, like honestly, anybody you get, as long as you groom them properly, they'll grow. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's it for the trade deadline. Uh, yeah, no worries, for sure. Uh, we're going to stop the sim. Oh, Dylan Strom to Columbus. Big trade. Dil yeah, Dylan Strom, man. He grows like crazy. Two firsts for Kubalik. Damn. Damn, that's a big acquisition. Matt Grizzlick, where'd you fit? Nah. We don't need him. <laughs> we don't need him. Um, so we didn't really get anybody on forward, on offense, but that's fine. Our, our forwards are playing really well. Oh, Malkin can't take face-offs anymore. I'm going to go like that, I think. is a. Yeah, we're going to do this uh, instead. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, I just realized all the lines got messed up again. Um... Plus three, I like that. Uh, was there any other way to get it? I'm trying to remember. That's fine. That's a good lineup. Um, all right, then defense. We're gonna go with Krug. Slavin said fit the top four. Oh, that's perfect. Honestly, I like that a lot. Valimaki instead of Anderson. Oh, yeah, look at this team. A lot of left-handed defensemen, but that's fine. Look at these studs, man. They're ready to go. Uh, goalies. Carter Hart. Yo, this team is poised for a cup. Like, I, this team has lost so many times in a row. It's driving me crazy. Um, that's fine. We'll leave them like that. Special teams. Uh, Mantha up there with Goudreau and Krug. And then, wait, how is... How do they not have our boy, Matthew Kachuk, in? Uh, with Slavin. And Monaghan? Uh, no. We're going to go with uh, Lindholm. And... Uh, Malkin? No, it's Niederreiter. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to remember what my lines were. I had the, I had them set up so nicely too. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, like that. That's how I had them. There we go. Uh, can I switch these two guys? Nope. Can I switch anybody else? Can I switch Hannafin with anybody? All right, that's fine. Uh, Three-man PK. Yeah, that was good. I had the plus three on each one, though. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm put Slavin up there with uh, with Hannafin. I don't know why Anderson was up there. 
And we can put the other Anderson. There we go. What a team. What a team. And then uh, we're going to go with Hennepin, Slavin, Valimac, whoops, Valimaki, and then Anderson again. Look at this team, though. Plus one on each. Uh, there we go. AHL squad, how are they looking? I'm trying to leave those, honestly. I like those lines. And then I'm going to fix the defense so it takes two seconds. Whoops. How are they doing? Oh, yeah, they're killing it. The AHL squad's killing it. How are you guys doing? Awful, but that's fine. All right, let's see how Carter Hart does with us. I think this team's ready to go. I think we're poised for a cup run, and I hope it's going to be a good one. All right, come on, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Big win over Montreal. Tough loss in St. Louis. Big win in Nashville. All right, not bad. Ooh, we're barely above 500 since the trade deadline, which is not great. I think we're like 6-5. and five. Seven and five or something like that. No, that's yeah, I think it's about that. Oh my god, Arizona got destroyed. Alright, those are some big wins. There we go. There we go. We ended the season strong. Alright, so after the deadline we went two and one. Oh wait. Yeah, two and one. Three and one. Four and one. Four and two. Five and two. Uh five and three. Six and three. Seven and three. Seven and four. Seven and five. 8 and 5, 9 and 5, 9 and 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 6 after the deadline. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's look at the lines. See who did what. Uh, Kachuk plus 16. How many points? 80 points. Not bad. Usually does a bit better. Kokinami 76. Usually does better, but that's not bad. Goudreau. 89 points, really good bounce back year for him. He had a rough year last year. Uh, Dubé, ooh, Dubé had a good year, man. Dubé's growing. Uh, Malkin, pretty good year for him too. Mantha, 74 points, good year for him. Ratcliffe on the third line did all right. Sean Monahan did, oh my God, 70 points. He beasted this year. Uh, Elias Lindholm, how did he do? He did pretty, oh no, he did pretty terrible. <laughs> that was awful. Uh, Nita Ryder did well. McCann, not bad actually. 30 points, good for him. Good for him. Ruzika, 36 points. Good breakout year for him too. Hannafin, Krug, Slavin's the guy we picked up. Let's see how he did. Six points in 19 games and a plus seven. That's really important. Plus seven, that's really important. Um, but yeah, really good overall defensive numbers. Plus 40. Yeah, good. Except for Josh Anderson, everyone did really well. Uh, goalies, Carter Hart. I don't really care about his overall number. What I care about is this. 12-4 and four in 16 games and a 9-15. That's great. That is perfect, and that's what we want. So let's look around the standings, around the leagues, around the rest of the leagues, see how we did. Um, ooh, not many people made it from our division. In terms of the league, we came in first. President's Trophy, I think that's our third one or our second one in the series. Goals for per game, we're first. Goals against per game, we're second. Behind Ottawa, damn, Ottawa's good now. Um, power play percentage, first. Nice. PK percentage, oof. That could be bad. Wait. We're not bad. We're not bad, actually. We're like middle. And then 10-0 in our last 10. That's great. That's really good numbers. Those are really good numbers. All right, let's move forward. See where we're against in the playoffs. I'm going to edit my stream just to make it so it knows I'm playing NHL 21. I should have done this a while ago. <laughs> I should have done this a while ago and just wrote NHL 21 under my category so people know what we're doing. Um, yeah, that's that. Any tags? I don't think I can add tags. So we'll just leave it like that. Um, all right, we're against Nashville. Let's see what Nashville's got to offer. Let's see what they have to offer us. Um, down in Nashville. Nashville Predators. Ooh, Ty Shattenkirk. This kid's a stud, man. 76 points. Yo, he's scary. We got to look out for these guys. And Ely Tovin. I don't, I don't even see that. Ely Tovin, 85 points. Yo, you got to watch out for this first line. Second line, Philip Forsberg still kicking it. 68 points. Not bad. Duchesne still there. Tatar. Third line's where it gets weak. Fourth line. Oh, my God. Are they still paying on that contract? Oh, bad contract. But look at that team, man. That, those top two lines are nothing to joke about. They're, okay, their top four is 
their bottom four is terrible on defense, but their top two, that's a good pairing. It's a good pairing. Goalie Shesterkin, 896 in the playoffs season stats, 901. We got to take advantage of that. But they're not a bad team, man. They're not a bad team. You can't let your guard down. They can they can surprise you, trust me. So let's see how we can do here. Game one and two, home ice advantage against Nashville. First game we lose. Second game we win, 3 0. Alright, I'm gonna let the team I'm gonna let the team go. There you go. Big win. I'm gonna let the team do their thing, man. I trust them. I trust this team. Big win again. Here we go. I'm trusting this team. There we go. We eliminate Nashville in six? Yeah, in six No, I'm dumb. Five games. We beat them four to one in five games. Not a bad start. Not a bad start to our playoff run, man. All right, Edmonton. Let's see what Edmonton has to offer. I'm sure they still have McDavid and Dreisaitl. I don't think I would have missed that. I don't think I would have missed them losing that. Uh, so Edmonton Oilers, what do they got? John, uh, I almost said Jonathan McDavid. Connor McDavid. Uh, how's he doing so far? Six points in seven games, 95 overall. Leon Dreisaitl, six points in seven games. What overall? 94. God damn. 92 points for him. 99 points for McDavid. Kyler Yamamoto had 73 points. Minus 15, though. Raphael Lavoie grew. 53 points. Not bad. Nugent Hopkins. Good year for him. Pulley Harvey. <laughs> Terrible year for him, man. Oh, my God. Their bottom six is average at best. Jake Evans, though. I like Jake Evans in real life. He's a good player. But their bottom six is average. Maybe even worse than average. Their defense is nothing to be scared of, if I'm being honest. Um, that second pairing must be having like a plus three or something because there's no reason they're doing that good. Casey DeSmith is at, posting up a 920 because goalie ratings matter, right? Wrong. Goal matters. Goalie ratings don't mean much. Anyway, let's see how we do against Edmonton. Their defense and their goaltending are weak. We should, we should have them here. I, I believe in our team. I think we should be able to win this. I'll show you guys the rating comparison just to, you know, show you how drastic the difference is uh 97 96 and 88 for us 92 87 and 80 for them so yeah yeah let's see how this goes games one and two on home ice i'm gonna trust our team here big win tough loss but that's okay we'll bounce back on the road big win all right i'm trusting the team here i'm trusting the team here tough loss all right it's getting closer Game six, uh, game five on, on home ice, big win. All right, I'm going to trust the team to close it out. I'm not going to do any of that slow sim stuff yet. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't want to do any of that slow sim stuff just yet because I want to save it for an elimination game because it's sketchy, man. That slow sim is sketchy. Uh, let's view the lines. Let's see how we're doing. And let's look at let's look at St. Louis. So they got Jaden Schwartz. He's not bad, not bad. He's putting up good points in a good amount of games, 11 points in nine games. Okay, he's scary. <laughs> he's scary, man. 100. Oh my God, he's scary. Just signed in St. Louis. Yep. Vladimir Tarasenko. He's scary, man. He's the real deal. Look at his career stats, man. 873 points in 917 games, but more impressively as a sniper, that plus minus, plus 142. Burakovsky, good player. He was available at the deadline, wasn't he? I guess they're shopping him. Ryan O'Reilly, nothing to be reckoned with. Former uh, Con Smite winner. Jordan Cairo, good player. Point of game player, might I add. This kid's killing it. Who is he? Yo, he's a playmaking master, man. Are these all power play points or what? No? 5 on 5. Alrighty. Oh my god. Alright. Robert Thomas. Okay, this team, this team's a, a good matchup for us, man. Look at that fourth line, too. They got Klim Kostin down here. Defense. Uh, that's where it gets weak. See, they got the offense to match us, but then their defense struggles. You know, that Matt Dumbo is good. And Michael Kepney beside him. That's not bad. This this pairing, we should be able to take advantage of. And this pairing especially, we should be able to take advantage of. Goalies? All right, he's a good, he's a pretty good goalie. Um, except for when he was with us. Because let's, let's look at his stats in the playoffs with us. Playoff stats. Jacob Markstrom with Calgary. 885. 928, not bad, not bad. 891. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's uh let's light this let's light this sucker up because uh he cost us a few cups, I I think. I think he cost us a few cups. So let's see how we can do game one. Alright, alright, one and one, that's not bad. Let's take game three, let's take it. Okay. We're down two to one here, first time being down in a series. I'm gonna trust our team.
to get us back into it. There we go. 2-2 series tie. I'm going to trust our team to get us the lead here. 3-2 series lead. All right, not an elimination game. I'm going to trust our team to win this for us here. Okay. All righty. I'm going to look at our lines, see if there's anything that's, you know, scaring me, and I'll make that change. First line is a minus. That's kind of scary. Second line is absolutely killing it. I don't want to split them up. Third line, scary. Fourth line's doing really well. So, hmm. Maybe I'll shake up the third and first lines with a quick move. Hmm. Maybe I'll just leave it. You know what? I'm going to switch Gudra and Kachuk on the wings. And on the third line, I'm going to switch Rat Monahan with. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Can Lindholm take faceoffs? He can. All right. And then defense, how are they doing? Defense is fine. Goaltending, 920. That's that's all I can ask for. That's all I can ask for. Um, we're going to go into the slow sim here. The sketchy, sketchy slow sim. Let's see how it goes. Period number one. We're up 2-1. to one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Sean Monahan changed up his line for him. And then Anthony Manta, the second line, continues their uh, success. And then Jane Schwartz gets it within one. We're out shooting them 14-4. I'll shoot them 14 to 4. Come on, boys. Card Hart, man, just make those saves for us. And boys, just keep putting that pressure on. Second period. Okay. 26 to 10 are the shots, but it's a 5-3 game. They're still in it. They we had taken a 3-1 lead, and then they tied it up. And then we took another two-goal lead. Anthony Mantha, I think, with the hat trick. Let's go. Anthony Mantha, man. He's showing up. He's showing up. Third period. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. We're actually 26 to 11. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get Carter Hart out of this game, man. He's struggling, but let's get him out of this game. It's a new period, a new Carter Hart, man. New period, new Carter Hart. There we go, Matthew Kachuk with a big power play goal. Up 6-3. to three. Let's speed up that sim, man. Let's speed up that sim. Let's not let this game get away from us. Speeding up the sim here. There we go. There we go. Just keep getting those shots on. Don't let them. Don't let them. Don't give them life. I've seen crazy things. Don't give them life. Don't give them life. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> I had to wait to the last second, man. I, I had to wait. I had to wait. Let's go. Stanley Cup Final. And this is our first appearance in the Cup Final. And we get the Toronto Maple Leafs. A former team of mine that I've done in this series. Um, let's see what they're looking like. And then we'll look at their stats. Let's see what they're looking like. View lines. View lines. Toronto, what do you got? I'm sure they still have uh, Marner and Matthews. Yep. 96 overall, Austin Matthews, nearly a goal per game in the playoffs. William Nylander, an assist per game. And uh, uh, Mitch Marner, a point a game. So, yeah, John Tavares is still there, and he's doing well. And 21 points in 18 games. Nicholas Robertson's killing it, too. And JT Comfer is doing really well. Uh, Isaac Lundenstrom is doing well. Akil Thomas. Jacob Perot is killing it there. Uh, Barre Boulez is doing fine. So looking at that team, that bottom six is something we can take advantage of. Like instead of Kill Thomas, we have Lindholm, and there we have Monahan. So like those are really strong players. And here we have Niederreiter, who are, who's better than them. Second line is definitely better than theirs. That first line though, if Kokinyemi and them can shut them down, we're good to go. On defense, this is where we gotta take advantage as well. These two guys, we outrank them easily. You know that's a bad contract, by the way. Oh my god, good luck with that. But we, we outranked him here on defense, man. He's going to grow. Did they draft him? They had the 8th overall pick. What? Why? What the heck? Alright. Alright, we won't question that. Um, Alright, let's see what we can do here. Goaltending, Corpusalo. Alright, we got to take advantage of their defense and their goalie, man. We got to take advantage of their defense and their goalie. Let's go. I'm going to trust the quick sim, quick time sim here. They haven't faced a team like us before. We have an even record with them. Better team comes out on top. Let's go. Game one. Big win. Big win. There we go. This is a huge lead. All right, game number three. Come on, boys, on the road. That's okay. We bounce back. We bounce back in game four. Let's go. All right. Series on the line. I'm going through the real time sim. I want, if, I'm gonna, if we're going to win, I want to watch it. First period. That's all right. That's all right. We bounce back. We bounce back. Second period. That's all right. It's a close game. It's where we want it. This is where we want it. They're gripping their sticks a little bit harder. They know they're about to lose. If they lose this game, they know they're out. They're gripping their sticks a little bit harder. All the pressure's on them, boys. We just got to keep playing hockey. We have three chances to we have three chances to eliminate them in this series. Let's uh, let's let them feel it. 
Let's let him feel it. Come on, boys. Get some more shots. Get some more shots. Tie up the game and just take it to overtime. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I'm trusting you here. I'm trusting in the team here. Come on. I should have maybe done the, the quick time. I don't know, but come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. Get a goal here. Get a goal late. Get a goal late here. Stir it up. Come on. Get momentum into the next game. All right, whatever. Whatever. We held them only two goals, but their goal got a big shutout for them. The slow sim, I'm telling you, it's, it's weird. It's a weird thing, man. On the road here. On the road, we can get a win here. If we get a win here, it's all over. Come on, boys. First period. That's what I'm talking about. Kokanyemi, Matthew Kachuk, and Sean Monahan. Those are some big goals from big players. That's what we needed. Sean Monahan's been with this team forever. Matthew Kachuk has been with this team forever. Kokanyemi, newer guy, but he's been with this team for a while now. That's not good. Second period, that's fine. That's fine. A 3-1 game, that's fine. We have a two-goal lead in the third period. Let's just shut her down. Let's just shut her down. Don't give them life. Shut down that line. Just play. Let's just play shut down hockey or play boring hockey here. The fans, the fans back in Calgary don't care if it's interesting. They just want to win. Come on, boys. All right, come on. Don't let them back into this game. This is a this is a crazy game so far. Kill that penalty, boys. Come on. Oh my God. Five on three. Come on, kill it, boys. Kill it. Let's go. It's a big penalty kill. Come on. That gives us a moment. Let's go, Johnny Gujo. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of your truck. Oh, no. I'm. Oh, no. Don't let me jinx it here. Don't let me jinx it here. Come on, boys. Shut her down. Shut her down, boys. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Computer versus computer. We're going with our uh, reverse retro. They're going with their reverse retro. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Let's just jump into it. Oh, man. This is the moment. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Sadly, that hockey, the and hockey the player, the is not the here to witness it, but I'm sure he'll get to see it uh, when he has a chance. It's a late night on a school night, you know. Oh, come on! Oh, nice try, nice try, big hit. Oh yeah, keeping that in the zone. Good job, picking him. There we go. Keeping it in the zone. Yes, boys. Ooh, nice shot. Wait, the game said it had 30 seconds left when I hopped in, but now it says 30 seconds now. That's sketchy. Oh, big save. Come on, KK. There you go. Come on, boys. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, big save. Big save. Big save by Carter Hart, baby. Big save. Oh, my God. Two big saves from Carter Hart, man. Let's go. That's what we needed. Alright, yo, Austin Matthews out here against Malkin. Malkin can't take face offs. Uh oh. Uh oh. I wish I had been the coach. I would have. I would have put. Okay, it worked out. Dump it in. Just dump it in. They can't. They can't score. If you dump it in. Hit him. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. He's a crazy shot. Don't let him shoot. Oh, what a save. Okay. Okay. Everyone just lie down in front of the net here. Everyone just lie in front of the net. Don't let him score. Everyone just lie in front of the net here. Do what you gotta do, man. Just, they don't even have Matthews out? Oh, he's out. Okay, he's over there. We did it! We did it! Calgary Flames, baby. Calgary Flames are your Stanley Cup champion. I don't even know what year this is anymore. What a win. What a win. What a flipping win, boys. I'm gonna put a little emoji in the chat. Let me see if I can do it. I look at them and I go, man, you guys have accomplished everything. There you go. That's my emoji I'm putting in there. <laughs> Is there a happy emoji I can put? I don't know what Kappa means, but I'm putting it in there. We did it, boys. We did it. We freaking did it. The Calgary Flames. Oh, we took down the freaking, uh, we took down the juggernaut. We took down the juggernaut. That's all you can ask for. Taking down the juggernaut, man. What a team they have in Toronto, man. Holy cow. 96 over on the Austin Matthews is terrifying. What a win. What a win.
Evgeny Malkin with the con smite. Every time I pick him up, this kid is on fire. This guy's on fire every time I pick him up. He's crazy, man. He's so good. All right. Oh, I never even declared a new captain. I wonder who it's going to be. I forgot to declare a captain after uh, after uh, Jordano left. Slavin, good pickup at the deadline for us. It's not Gudro. Who is it? When you get Who is it? By the is it Monaghan? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I would have made it Monaghan anyway. Out, that was a good one. What a, what a there you go, Captain Sean Monaghan. Picking up the cup. The Too bad Giordano couldn't be here, but he didn't even want to re-sign with us at the end of his career. He wanted to leave. Well, look at us now, baby. Look at us now. There you go, Iceland. Homie's been with us for a long time, too. This actually started as an accident. He's been with us for a long time, man. He earned it. We earned this. And then now it's a regular thing. Just think, if that accident hadn't happened, we wouldn't have this great celebration that we see now. What a freaking win, boys. Boys and girls, what a win. As they gather for the team photo, there are your Stanley Cup champions. This is the emotional picture, the one with the cup for the first time. The polished one will be in a couple of days when everybody's shaved their beards and combed their hair. This is glorious. This is a glorious moment. I got to get the uh, file ready. Finish game. Yes, sir. What a win. What a win. I'm going to sim closer to the draft and then uh, and then figure out who the MVP is. I wish someone was here to figure it out with me. I really do. I'm on my own though. Oh, Stockton, he won too, right? Oh, baby, we won both. We won both. I wish someone was here to pick a uh, MVP with me, but sadly, that's not the case. It's not the case, though. So anyway, let's figure out uh, who the MVP is. I'm tempted to make it Malkin, but I want to make it someone who was, like, part of the Flames franchise, you know? I'm not going to make it, like, Monaghan. Um, no offense to Monaghan, but he didn't really earn it. <laughs> let's be real. Um, like, realistic here. Actually, his last season was pretty good. And, like, let's look at his playoff stats. Nah. Nah. Dubé? Dubé kind of earned it, maybe. Okay. I think maybe Dubé. I think Dubé might get it. I mean, Mantha was good. He was there from the beginning with us. He was a really good playoff performer. Look, like he... The first season, we, we... Like, he did... Wait, what? What the heck is going on? Oh, okay, twenty twenty Yeah. 2019-20 was COVID. Yeah. So, first year, right away, Mantha was with us. And he put up 79 points. Yeah, he was good. He was good with us. But he wasn't really the original squad of Flames, you know. Uh, Kachuk, how'd you do in the playoffs? Eh. Eh. He was all right. Goudreau, he was pretty good. I'm tempted to do Goudreau, but he's already a good player. I'm thinking Dubé, man. I'm thinking Dubé. Look at his stats. So he starts off the first year with us. 58 points. That's pretty good. Then he gets 63 I think it's 70, 74, 71. He went, he went a little bit down, but look at his shots. His shots got better. He just had a lower shooting percentage. They just weren't going in, but he had more power play points and he had more ice time. He played a bigger role. Face-offs, he was winning them. Not really, but he was taking them. <laughs> his giveaway to takeaway ratio was insane. What? You know what, man? I think this kid earned it. This kid earned it, man. With his rise, the team won. 
I mean, look at his look at his time on ice as we go on through the playoffs. Like, it got high at the end there. That didn't really help prove my point. And actually, he played. He got less. But wait, how does that make any sense? Time on ice per game was higher, but minutes. Oh right, yeah, because we played more games. But look at that ratio. That's crazy. That's filthy. He was almost a point a game, man. He earned it. I think he earned it. Let me let me look around at other players, but I think he earned it. Hannafin, nah. Ruzika was good, but he's not an MVP. I, I might give it to Dubé, man. This he wasn't the number one guy, but yo, he he blossomed with us. You know what I mean? Like he became his own thing. Like we we saw this kid go from like an 82 fringe player to a stud. You know what I mean? He he became a stud with us. I'm I'm making it Dubé. Hate on me if you want. <laughs> That's fine. I'm picking Dubé. He earned it. I like him as a player in real life. I like him as a player in this game. I'm probably gonna turn him into a playmaker, but yeah, I'll just leave him as he is. He earned it the way he is. Um, so I'm gonna leave him as is. So yeah, Dylan Dubé. I'll uh I'll edit the stuff after. Let me just go figure out what the heck the year was. Um, so I'll look at someone who's here the whole time. I'll just look at Goudreau. It'll be, it'll be quick. Uh, Goudreau, what year did we win the cup in Goudreau? One, two, three, four, five. Year five. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. And then Dubé's best year with us was last year, 74 points in 82 games. Um, I'll do that all after off camera, though. It'll take me two seconds. I'll come back into the thing and check it. I have to do that for another team anyway. Um, but yeah, good for Dylan Dubé. Uh, we already kind of looked over the franchise record books, and nothing was broken last episode, so nothing too crazy happened. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for everyone who's been a part of this Calgary Flames GM Mode series. Uh, for those of you who tuned in last episode, you already know, um, courtesy of the hockey player, um, our latest subscriber and follower, he, I don't know if he subscribes on YouTube, but anyway, latest follower on Twitch. I appreciate him regardless. Um, pick the Winnipeg Jets. So courtesy of him, we've got the Jets next up. So next time you see me on Twitch, um, starting up a stream, it's going to be the Winnipeg Jets. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe or follow um, for more daily content. And I'll see you in the next one.